What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Ron Panda here. I want to show you a spork for the outdoor enthusiast. All right, so I just picked this up because the thing was only like $5. I didn't even know it existed. So, you know, when I was a kid, I used to have one of those uh, pocket knives that had the flip out fork and spoon. I never really used them. Didn't want to get food and stuff inside my pocket knife. But I found this for my next trip. It's a, a Ration XL. This one's actually in green. It does come in a couple of other colors, including like an unfinished stainless steel, I think. But it also comes in a couple of different sizes. And because I'm a baller, I decided to go with the big one here. Look at that sucker. Uh, the thing is, you can get this same thing, but it's just compressed. It's just shortened up. It looks like it's maybe two thirds long. So kind of all this middle part here is sh shrunk up. But you can see here, this thing is metal. It's heavy. I don't know if it's a powder coating or what, um, but obviously it's got some sort of painted coating. You're not going to lose it unless you're marching in neon green grass. And it does have a little bit of a carabiner like hook here so you can clip it onto your mess kit or your uh, backpack strap. It's just a little wire spring loaded. You can see there how they do that. It's off. It's off kilter right there. And then you have a fork on this end. And see how it's just a little bit of a waviness, like a sine wave to it. Fork on this end, mm, and the spoon on this end. And what I like about it is my hand doesn't have to be right here. So if I'm using this to stir something over an open fire or a stove, you know, I've got a little bit of range so I don't have to get my hand right into something that's really hot. And it's gonna be more of the length of a regular utensil. So it's gonna have that feeling of just using, it says Kershaw right there of, uh, you know, using a regular utensil at home. And we have a little notch there. I, I'm assuming that is for opening bottles if you need to you take a brew with you. You can see the four tines there. And I would say this is a little bit thicker than probably your average household utensil. But now we just gotta see if this little Kershaw spork works. All right, so I heated up a lone pizza roll here to try it out. You can see here, I can get the spoon underneath there. Woo! No problems holding it there, but then I might be able to just stab it. Oh, I exploded it, but look at that, stabbed it. So you can bring it right up to your mouth and eat it. So this thing is going to work. Might be a nice little companion with you on your next backpacking camping trip. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's only five bucks. Peter Von Panda, out.